What an exciting comeback win for Utah State. They beat New Mexico 67 or 75 70. Don't know what's on there, but guys, I mean, let's talk about this. You come out with a hot start, get them going early. Was that your game plan all along to kind of run them early? To, it was a great start, certainly, and then and we were getting stops, and then they kind of ramped up the pressure, and um, I felt like we got tentative, you know, and just we were trying to make the right play, but it's, it's hard to play good basketball if you're tentative, and and um, and give them credit. They were on attack. They created a lot of momentum, and then that second half, um, it felt like a wave. It almost felt like a semi-home game for them, and, uh, of course, we were fighting foul trouble all night. We had to... Kata gets two fouls in the first five minutes. We, were, we had Alfonso Anderson getting ready to sub in. He gets his third. Sam gets three quick ones the first five minutes of the, of the second half. And so we had to negotiate that whole thing. Abel Porter was hurt, couldn't play him. But, man, our guys played with great poise and confidence down the stretch and made some – this is a player's game. And these two guys right here made some phenomenal plays for us down the stretch. Sam Merrill doing Sam Merrill things. Big time players make big time plays, as they say. You, when you came back in after you got your fouls, you guys went on a 27 and 13 run. Talk to me about that and the impact that you're able to make on this team. I don't know, it wasn't just me, it was our whole team. I mean, this guy kept us in range and um, I came back in and he made so many plays and uh, we tightened up defensively. Like Coach said, credit to New Mexico and. Their crowd, I mean, mm -hmm. they have the second best fans in the country. <laughs> they, like, I mean, New Mexico, no matter what they show out, they're loud. Um, so credit to them and that team. But uh, we, we just made enough plays. And you can't you can't do it by yourself. And it's a team game. And that's what we did. Coach, how big of a difference maker is Sam when he's on the court for you guys? Well, I mean, he's, you know, he was the player of the year last year. You know, and obviously he just does everything. He's a great defender. He's a great leader. And everybody sees his scoring, and certainly we're happy to see that too uh, down the stretch. But he makes so many good decisions. You know, we got him up on top and did some ISO stuff, and credit to our team to adapt. We haven't done that all year. We haven't done that in two years. And, and, they, and they figured that out, and then they started going to the zone. And our guys, you know, Diogo's three in the corner was humongous, just like last year, yeah, yeah. except about a minute later. And, um, um, and then even that last possession where we threw it to Keita, and um, he sees – Diogo and somehow goes through their hands and Diogo scoops it up and has poise to make that layup. And then that last one too, I don't know who threw it to Bean. Sean did. Sean did, Sean did our freshman. And um, just having poise late in the clock to be able to make those plays. And man, just so proud of these guys. You guys made a huge comeback in that second half. And Diogo, you were a huge part of that. You stepped up when your team needed you most. You had 15 points and you had some big threes down the stretch. What's going through your head and when, as you get that ball? What, what's going through your head? Uh, I thought I thought about shooting it way before that. Like I saw, <laughs> I saw Seb driving baseline. We work on on that crackback every day, and I just saw it. It's because we they went into the zone because they just couldn't stop him. So I, it's time to make some plays. Is he's gonna? They're gonna tighten up on him, and I try to find my try to find a spot. The ball came. I I didn't think twice, and I just let it go. Coach, I saw you on the sideline saying, settle down, settle down. For you guys, when Coach is saying that, how are you guys, as these big players on this team, able to really calm the team down? It's it's really what you're saying. It's just, this is what I deal with. Like this, after like three <laughs> minutes, like three, said, Coach. After three minutes, they just tune you out. So like, don't be offended. That's, um, they do it to me like in two minutes. It's okay. You guys just had a big win. It's I'll like, give you a pass this time. It's like you said, they really heat us up and when, even when we're down 11, I, I thought the, the first thing that we had to do is just slow it down, you know, like the, just let them, they, they have the momentum, but let's just make sure we keep our poise. Coach always talked about during the timeouts, let's keep our poise. And that's what we try to do. Eventually, we were fortunate to have Sam back in the game, and that's when we finally stepped it up and got the lead. You, you know, I said earlier about the foul issues. It's not only that. You know, Sam gets the four, Kata's out, and now your starting point guard for the last year and a half is out with an injury and he can't come back in. So now you got DA playing, and DA is a veteran guy and he's one of the most intelligent guys I've ever been around. And now you're showing Sean Berstow who's averaging about eight minutes a game and he's a true freshman in this environment, right? And um, and uh, it, that's, uh, so they have to do some things that maybe they haven't been called upon to do that's a whole story. lot. And so that's great poise obviously by them. Right. 
Let's, you guys are en route here, another semifinal, very familiar place, your third straight semifinal. What's your mindset as you head into that? You've been there before. Just just win. <laughs> um, the, the crowds get a little better every game. Um, the intensity gets a little higher. Um, either of these two teams, obviously everyone knows how good Nevada is and Wyoming's playing their best basketball. So whichever team it is, we know they're going to bring it and we're going to have to be much better than we were tonight, to be frank, but uh, I think we'll bring it. Talk to me about these fans here. They stay, they cheer you guys on, they travel near and far. How big of a role do they play in a comeback like this for you guys? A huge role. It's like, it's like you're playing at home. Today's like during a five or ten minute stretch, it looked like we were playing in Albuquerque, but then in the last five, ten minutes, it looked like we were playing in Logan, you know? And that really makes a big difference in the tournament because it's like a, we, we got to push for the crowd and they, they, they will back us up. And I know because that, that they have done that for all four years that I've been here. Well, guys, huge comeback win. Congratulations on route to your another semifinal, your third straight. We'll let you get back to the locker room and celebrate this huge comeback win. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Let's take a look at these final stats from the game. Three-pointers were big for Utah State in this comeback win. And rebounding, Utah State out-rebounded New Mexico 43-32. to And Utah State didn't take care of the ball that great tonight, but ended up coming out on top 75-70. to now let's take a look at the bracket. Utah State with a huge comeback win to take, now take on the winner of Wyoming and Nevada, which will be up next. And San Diego State advanced earlier today and they will play Boise State. That's it here from the Thomas and Mack Center from the third quarterfinal game here at the Thomas and Mack Center. Utah State topping New Mexico 75 to 70.